Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how you can sign in with Facebook in your mobile application. Uh, this is the same project which I used for uh, integrating Google, Google sign in your mobile app. And the project is on GitHub, you can take it from there. I'm going to mention this link in the, uh, in the video description. And I'm going to mention the link for the video for uh, Google sign in so that you can refer to that if you want to. Uh, so yeah, let me just run this demo and show you how I have set up uh, my app and we'll take it from there. So I'm going to click and uh, click on sign in with Facebook here. This will take me to Facebook login page. Uh, here I'm going to enter my credentials. Uh, another thing you, sh uh, you should notice is it shows the uh, app logo and app name curious drive here where it's pulling information from. Uh, I'm going to enter credentials here and click on login and it will take me back to my application where it pulls the profile picture, uh, user ID and first name, last name and email address of the user account. Uh, so yeah, so the only thing that you need to pull information from uh, Facebook is this app ID. Uh, to get this app ID, we'll have to create app on uh, the developer console for uh, Facebook. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to create a uh, new app so that uh, you can see it from the beginning how an app could be set up. So you can go to this um, Facebook developer homepage, uh, click on this My Apps drop down and you can see I already created an app and I'm going to create another app so you can see it. And uh, I'm going to mention the display name as Curious Drive Demo App and uh, create an app ID. This will ask me if I'm a robot or not, I'm not, so I'm going to click on submit. Once I submit, it'll list down all the products which Facebook developer can use. Uh, for our demo, we're going to need uh, this Facebook login uh, product. So I'm going to click on setup. Um, and that will take me to the quick start page. We are not going to do anything here. Uh, uh, we, so we need three things before we turn on, turn on our application. The first thing that we need to do is we need to go to this Facebook login drop down and click on settings. And here we'll have to mention this valid OAuth redirect URIs. And we can get that URI from our application. This should be the same URI which is there in our project. I'm going to copy that from there and paste it here. Uh, another thing that I need from uh, this application is let's just first save these changes. Cool. So uh, we'll need to set the privacy policy for this app too. And you can do that from uh, these settings drop down in basic and here you can set the privacy policy. If you already have privacy policy, you can, uh, you can, you know, mention the link here, but if you don't have, uh, that's fine, we can go ahead and create a new one. Uh, go to this uh, free privacy policy URL and on this website, we can create new privacy policy. I'm gonna click on privacy policy generator here. Select mobile app, click on new, I'm an individual. I live in Pennsylvania, um, next step. And what's the name of your mobile app? and I'm going to collect email addresses and I'm not going to select anything else uh, here because it's going to cost me to generate policy and I'm going to select no everywhere else click on okay this will is click on next and then next and how you're going to uh, receive uh, privacy policy I want it by email and um, select my email address here and it's going to say it's going to cost you nothing to generate privacy policy and I'm going to click on create privacy policy. This will take me to the link uh, where you can copy uh, your privacy policy or you can just like copy the link. I'm going to take the link, key, link here and paste it here. Cool. So 
Now, another thing that we need before we turn on our application is we need to select the category of our application. I'm going to select education and save changes. Cool. The app is saved. Now we can turn on the application <clears throat> on the right top corner here. You can see this off button here right next to in status and development. I'm going to turn on this. Um, application it'll ask me if you want to make it public or not you just say confirm and uh, and the application is on this you can see this on button here cool so now the application is on uh, I'm gonna copy this app ID and put it in my project first I'll stop the project put it put the app ID here and then run run the project Uh, sometimes it doesn't work right for the first time but let's see if it does that'd be awesome okay I'm gonna click on Facebook here and now you can see the logo has changed and it says QS drive demo app uh, here on, on top uh, I'm gonna enter my credentials and click on login and it'll ask me, uh, do you really want this app uh, to pull information from Facebook? Uh, is that okay? And you say approve, continue as for hard. Cool. And it'll pull me back uh, to, it'll take me back to the application and it'll show uh, my user ID, first name, last name, and the email address. Uh, so yeah, that's how you create an app pull and pull information on Facebook. So there are a few things that you should notice in this project is one thing that uh, when I click on sign in with Facebook, I'm initializing this authenticator and um, here in Facebook app, I have mentioned email address so that you can pull in uh, email addresses too. And another thing that you should notice is this OAuth completed when the application completes the authentication it comes here and pulls more information it pulls id name first name last name email address picture uh, the profile picture using the access token uh, you can have more fields but you'll have to ask for uh, more information here you can request for more information here but uh, your um, application should be verified and you'll have to request that information from Facebook so yeah that's how you pull information from Facebook using uh, app ID uh, I hope you like this video thanks for watching